Splish. That's her surfing. Hello, huge movie fanatic Nate. Coming at you to review another movie. This movie actually came out like three months ago, I think in June. It's something that I intended to see, I was going to see eventually. And I did, I think last month um, we saw it at a, uh, at a, what's it called? Second run theater and I was just, I don't know, I just, I don't know if it was just my mood or whatever. I just didn't feel like reviewing it. I guess I wasn't too impressed with this movie uh, enough to even review it at the time, but it was at the drive-in. It was the first showing at the drive-in that we went to. <clears throat> we actually went to see Blair Witch, um, and this was the first showing. We kind of didn't watch it. It was just kind of on and whatever. So, but I, so we kind of saw this, well, like, I don't know, one and a half times. I mean, more or less twice, you know. We weren't paying attention to all of it, you know, when we did the drive-in, but... Anyway, I'm here to review The Shallows, um, starring this one girl who apparently, supposedly, just recently had a baby before this movie was shot, if that's true, way to go, like, not for having a baby and bringing life into this horrible world, but for having the stomach that you have in this movie. Um, so, this is something, you know, every now and then, whether it's straight to video or it's more, it's more rare for a shark movie to actually be in the theaters. I don't think there's really been one in the theaters since Shark Night or whatever. That seems to be like the last, the last one of these shark. Shark Night really seems to be, you know, one of the last shark movies that's actually been in the theater that I can remember, but regardless, this is a shark movie that takes place. It's kind of a cool idea. In a way, it's like whatever, you know, it's, it's a kind of, it's a kind of open water-ish. It's kind of like open water-ish, but there's also another movie it reminds me of, I can't think of it, where, I don't know, Salvation is so close, you know, like she's so close to the beach or whatever, and it's just... This frustration of having, you know, the beach and Salvation being so close, but she's just stuck on a rock and whatever. So basically the whole plot of this movie, did, it's kind of a movie that I generally, like, I, I, I kind of liked it more the second time we kind of half saw it. I don't know why, I guess maybe because we've seen it before and we knew what to expect. But basically this, it turns, the, the story of this movie, not that this is, the scenario of this movie is this, this young girl basically uh, is this Mexico probably takes this trip to Mexico or whatever to try to I guess there's I guess her mom who has since died of cancer uh, I think I think we find out by just pictures on her phone that her mom was a surfer or something like that regardless I think her mom was a surfer as well but so there were pictures of like famous pictures of her mom at this particular beach with this like this this familiar like what they call what she calls pregnant woman pregnant lady mountainage in the background where it's kind of like a nose and a breasts and a stomach and shit like that kind of cool so this famous you know beach where her mom you know presumably apparently used to surf when she was whatever i don't know if she was pregnant with her or before at whatever so so i guess you know for ever since for a while for like years and years and years i guess this character who is featured in this movie um, basically wanted to find this beach, you know, for years and years and years ever since, and this movie's about her doing that. It's kind of, we don't know how long after her mom died this takes place, I don't think, but whatever. It's kind of just a rite of passage or something like that trying for her to try to find this beach. So the movie starts with some guy, Mexican guy, you know, driving her to this beach, and first off, I don't know why this movie didn't affect me this way when I first saw it, but have seen, seen it again, it's just like that. I must have just been grumpy when we first saw it. I don't know what my problem was, but seeing it again, it's just like, first off, you know, for people like me who love just sunny beach water environments, I mean, this movie is absolutely beautiful. It's probably shot, you know, you know, whatever, red cam digitally, I'm sure, but whatever. Regardless, it's still, you know, obviously the whole movie because it's all outdoors, it's right up my alley, you know, it's everything, everything is outdoors, the whole movie's outdoors, and it's just stunning location, obviously, you know, beach location, and stunning whatever, and stuff like that, so first off the bat, that's, that's something huge that's got going for it, and so, many of you long-time viewers, you know, slash subscribers, you know, have seen a lot of my videos will know that I'm not too keen on movies that take place just, like, all indoors and in the city and at night and just, like, the Saw movies that are just all 
pretty much at night indoors, grimy, grungy bathroom stalls and just ugh. So this is this is my kind of fair where it's sunny outdoors, beach, water, whatever. So what I kind of like about this movie is just it's, a, it's really up my alley in the sense of a very simple premise where it's just about this you know girl woman girl slash woman finding this you know beach she's wanted to do surf you know which is the surf is supposed to be phenomenal ever for years and years and years and you know finding it and just you know we obviously when after she does that after she finds it we see her do some surfing hooking up not in that way but i mean meeting pairing up with some not pairing up because there's two other guys tripling up with two other guys that are surfing there and oh it should be noted that this one guy has a gopro on his helmet and the movie starts with this kid fine doesn't really matter finding this GoPro and I don't think I'm going to spoil this movie like I don't know all the details like I spoiled all the details of Don't Breathe I think I'll just you know give you the basic gist of it and say what I think and let you see it or whatever so long story short I mean she obviously obviously in a surfing movie there's got to be scenes of surfing so there's that scenes of them being cool hang 10 yeah man we're riding the waves so there's scenes of riding the waves, hanging ten. There's really cool shots of like when she first goes out and this thing. I don't surf, so you know this is this must be what you do or what you can do to get you know out there, where the, the wave will be coming in and then she'll be like she'll go under. Obviously these shots are super sexy of this you know woman on this surfboard, but she'll go under the waves and it'll be like she'll come up and like you know splish slow motion just you know cover girl model whatever sports illustrated shoot you know shit um and when i saw it the first time i didn't think i was ever going to really buy it but having seen it again i think i shall buy it i don't think i'm going to pay 20 bucks like on release day or release week but if i i kind of like to with certain movies i kind of have like a like maybe 15 a blu-ray or something will be maximum what i'll pay for this movie it's it's going to look good on blu-ray and a long story short after some just hang hanging 10 uh, hanging loose on the wave shit um she takes a break calls her dad and it's kind of cool uh presumably like facetime scene where it's really kind of cool where it's you know shot of her walking along the beach and then you see the different like phone shots and stuff of the dad talk and anyway after lunch these other two guys are coming in she's going out for one hopefully last um wave ride and that's where she made the mistake man because uh i can't remember exactly how we did i didn't really watch this portion portion when we saw it at the drive-in but um but anyway she ends up getting uh you know basically attacked by a, you know a shark and ends up being oh yeah yeah she's she's whatever and gets attacked by a shark gets her leg injured and finds this rock that's you know it's you know this rock formation actually i think first she there's a like a whale carcass that she gets on first you know in a kind of nasty you know so she like grab inside a wound and to try to pull herself up and she first she finds refuge on from the shark on this dead whale carcass corpse floating around but she realizes that she can't stay on this because well it's gonna freaking probably you know whatever go out to see or whatever so she then she finds her way to this rock which has, she probably spends most of her time on this rock with this uh, I'm kind of confused about this seagull which is probably the most creative and funny part of the movie which is the seagull ends up being named Steven which is of course Steven Seagull which is kind of funny I mean that was kind of kind of cute and funny whatever little detail there I guess I'm spoiling a lot I'm not gonna spoil the end or anything like that I'm just spoiling other stuff so this is a kind of a spoiler review I guess but I'm not gonna spoil the important stuff but uh, you know she spends most of her time on this rock obviously you know the tides go in and out or whatever so she can't spend you know as much as she'd love to she can't spend the rest of her life on this rock she, because of the tide, high tide coming in, she's going to have to figure out a way or what the hell she's going to do to, because obviously when the water goes above the rock, she's going to, you know, she's going to be shit out of luck. So at the end of the movie, she, uh, it's just a survival movie, whatever. It's like open water meets Jaws meets Shark Night meets whatever, you know. There's some kind of lame-ass dolph computerized dolphins. I think the most of the, that was the stuff that really made, that really looked lame. But I think most of the, from what I remember, most of the shark stuff kind of looked pretty good. Like, the CG shark looked pretty good. Like, the dolphins, you know, 
the CG dolphins weren't so good, but uh, for the most part, the CG shark looks good. Very much with, you know, so many movies nowadays, I just reviewed Don't Breathe. I kind of feel like, you know, both times I watch it, I kind of feel like this movie wears out its welcome a little at the end. I think it's only like, I don't know, it's, I don't think, if, it, if it's over 90 minutes, I don't think it's much over 90 minutes long. It's a good old-fashioned, kind of normal, good old movie length, you know, so it's not like two and a half hours nonsense, you know. Obviously, you're not going to have a movie about pretty much nothing, which this is, be very long anyway, so I'm actually surprised that like Sony, a big huge studio like Sony would actually do a movie like this, which is much more my fair, where it's not so much of a, you know, beginning, middle, end kind of a plot, or we must do this, or, you know, this is the goal, we must achieve this, and this is what needs to be done. It's kind of just like, like I say, just a scenario of something that happens or whatever, yeah, just a survival movie, I guess, is what it would be classified as, but... You know, I kind of tend to flow more towards these movies that really don't have all this definitive, like, plot and things, goals that need to be accomplished, and you know they're going to be, so it's really not a big deal to watch. So, I mean, obviously you know pretty much the outcome of what this movie is going to be, too. Without spoiling it, I won't confirm or deny whether that happens or not, but, yeah, at the end of the day, what's this? I was going to say Shark Knight. The Shallows, um, having seen it again, or kind of half seen it, I think we'll go two and a half stars out of four stars for The Shallows. It doesn't blow your socks off if you like, you know, the female form. You know, that's pretty good for that. There's some really cool shots of her, like, you know, on her stomach on the board you know, with her, like, her head pointed out towards sea, and you can see her butt cheeks really nice and stuff like that. Unfortunately, she's, like, she's got for a big portion of this movie this, like, uh, wetsuit top thing, long sleeve wetsuit top, which I don't understand. You know, you think it'd be the water would be warm enough, but whatever. Maybe it was uh, something the actress didn't want to be like bikini all the time. You know, I think she is in a bikini like towards the end of the movie or whatever. But I think for the majority of the movie, she's kind of wearing this. Oh, well, she has to have it to. Uh, she uses it to like uh, suture her her wound that she happens with the shark. So. Anyway, oh, I, I mentioned the seagull. I don't think I mentioned that he, I think he got wounded by the shark or something where his wing was wounded. So that, so he basically is standing on the rock keeping this, our lead, well, yeah, our lead character company. Um, so, not that, not that that's important. But anyway, I think that does it from my review of The Shallows. Um, having, like I said, having seen it again, I'll probably be in the market for the Blu-ray if I can get it for 15 or less or something like that. I, these days I kind of don't buy stuff on release day anymore I, because you know so many times I've done that in the past and then they've come they've been on sale for like ten dollars off you know ten dollars less later on make, as, as little as like three or four or five weeks later and I've just been like stupid so I've kind of unless I just love it or something or I feel like it's not going to come down in price in the future I Generally, for movies like this that I can take it or leave it, I kind of try to wait until the price comes down a little later, a little while, so, because... And so thank you very much for watching this review, or my review of The Shallows. It's kind of got the same title as The Gallows. Better movie than The Gallows, The Shallows. Um, and uh, if you've seen it, feel free to let me know what you think. Uh, favorite parts, least favorite parts. If you haven't seen it and want to know all the details, feel free to ask. Uh, if you want to know what I thought about things that I haven't mentioned, feel free to ask, whatever. If you just want to leave a friendly comment, feel free to do so. If you want to leave something that's nasty, don't bother, man. I don't need that crap. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.